Hey what's up all my name is Chinese Gaming and welcome to Titania. Now this looks very interesting, it looks like an RPG. So let's literally dive into it. I like the music. Tanya. I'm gonna be i I'm gonna be confusing the name quite a lot because I play a game with a character called Titania. Is this Titania? <laughs> Titania, oh, it's gonna be confusing, but here we go. Uh, so was laid bare for all to see. Through the halls of the Imperial Marinsky Theatre, her voice filled the empty void. Upon hearing her voice, one would think they were listening to a goddess. I'm sorry, I, I have the sniffles at the moment. I don't know what's going on. I think it might have changed the weather. It seems to affect me quite badly. So you have to bear with me, I'm sorry. A goddess whose dom whole domain was music. To say she was a marvel would be a severe understatement. You see, Titania isn't a mere songstress. No, she is far beyond a mere human songstress. She is a singing doll, one of the greatest accomplishments of the Industrial Revolution. Yes, my friends, Titania is no mere human. She is an amalgamation of mechanical parts flawlessly woven together to create humanoid machines. A humanoid machine capable of mimicking the soul and co complexity of the human voice. Audiences across the world have been entranced by the song of the singing dolls. Everyone who hears their music marvels at the sight. I wouldn't say I'm immune to their charm, oh no. I enjoyed listening to their songs as well. All too soon the show comes to an end. I see from my spot in the dark and the back rooms the guests filling out, all talking about the beauty of the show. I don't blame them. Anyone would consider themselves lucky to see a show featuring the dolls. Who am I? I'm Peter, a repairman for the dolls. I make sure they are in top shape for every performance. I suppose that's one particular weakness. No one's been able to eliminate despite the advantages. Even a humanoid machine needs to rest. I set the grammar phone to play my song and then I begin my repairs. I always start with Agnesa. Agnesa? The most prone to accidents. Did you break your foot again, Agnesa? I take a look at her foot. Goodness, please be more careful. I remove her shoe and her foot for repairs. Agnesa is a beautiful dancer, which comes at the cost of her feet. One would think they would overcome their weak this weakness, but alas, Agnesa's greatest strength is also her greatest weakness. I like to imagine she smiles at me whenever I return her shoe and foot. <laughs> oh Vitaly, you scared me. Ah, my beloved cat. So full of mischief, I could have sworn I saw a twinkle in Anessa's eye looking at my cat. Vitaly is my companion in my old age. My last. As of now, I am only living member of my family left. Sad I understand, but I've come to accept it. I am a far past the twilight years of my life, well towards the end. I am only waiting until it's my turn to leave this earth. All good things come to an end as the saying goes. I'd like to make mine as useful as possible. Yes, Vitaly, I know, I have, I have your fish right here. Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> I place the dried fish into Vitaly's bowl and leave him be. Vitaly has the habit of knocking down my tools when I'm working. Feeding him dried fish placates him most of the time. I finish repairing Agnes's foot, then I move on to the next doll. Shall we see your hand, Alyusha? The doll only stares back. Your movements were rather wooden today. Did you have that arm fixed? Alyusha was one they used to convey grandest gestures. <clears throat> like, like, like an angel, Alyusha is used to the most religious stories in operas. Her voice is so low timber that there is a soothing quality to it. Had I not known better, I'd say she was an angel descended from the heaven. She she may as well have been inspired by an old painting of angels. I need to borrow your hand for a while, Lady Alicia. I do hope you'll forgive me. I imagine Alicia nods in response. 
her way of giving pers uh, permission. I like. I think I like to think. I unscrew her hand from her arm and I begin the repairs. Dolls have a delicately intricate structure to better mimic the skeleton of a human body. Alicia's greatest assets were her hands, in combination with her alto voice. Thus, I pay the most attention to her hands. Oh, there seems to be a knot. It impresses me how close to an actual human they got, had gotten. Even with the porcelain skin polished and painted, I can barely tell it's not real skin. Only when I touch does it become apparent. There you are, good as new. I fasten Halusha's hand back onto her arm. I like to imagine that she smiles back when I, whenever I do. Strange as it sounds, I've come to consider these dolls my second family, including Vitaly, of course. Do take better care of that hand. You are still you still needed it for the show. I imagine Halusha narrowed her eyes at me there. Perhaps even a small smile of amusement. Oh, Vitaly, have you finished your fish? Greedy cat. Hang on, I have more. <laughs> Took out the other piece of the fish I had. Some salmon I managed to get to the, uh, get at the market. <laughs> Vitaly was surprisingly less picky though. He had his preferences. And seeing how I had fished, uh, finished with Alusha, I finally moved on to the star of tonight's show. Titania. Hello again, Titania. I can't say the I can't say the name right. Forgive me. She smiled. How is your voice box? Is it in good shape? I know it sounds ridiculous to ask if a singing doll's voice box is well cared for. Believe me, most would think it is, but I cannot to this day believe the amount of neglect in maintaining some of them. It let me clean it for you. I remove Titania's voice box so I can start cleaning it. A singing doll's greatest future, as one can imagine it is her voice. <coughs> Excuse me. Without it, they'd simply be called dolls. Titania is the star of nearly every show, so I have to take extra care in cleaning it. I still wonder why they haven't found a professional yet. But then again, the golden coin speaks the loudest. Here you are, good as new. I return to Titania's voice box to her. Dot dot dot. Thank you. Hmm? Oh, they haven't shut down your power yet. I'm afraid not. Goodness, the amount of neglect will be the death of me one of these days. Not that I mind, I quite enjoy the conversations. You did well in the show. Did you see how the audience supported? I certainly did. It was absolutely marvelous. This was far the most favorite part of the day. Titania was the latest and most advanced of the singing dolls, where dolls like Adnessa and Elusha could only use their voices in a show. Titania showed remarkable capabilities in imitating human conversation patterns. Her intelligence in various subjects was phenomenal. A time or two where we even caught her reading, the last book of all things was Leo Tolstoy's The War and Peace. Excuse me. None of us thought she would be interested in such works, if the dolls were capable of such feats. You know, Peter, if someone catches you talking to me, they would think you were mad. I must be mad already, if our previous conversations are any indi indicator. Ho 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 ho! I do enjoy these conversations. It makes me on my wait for my time less lonely. How far must I have fallen to seek out companionship? Oh, uh, uh, how far must I have fallen to seek companionship in a mechanical being and a cat of all things? At least with Vitaly, I know I will find my family on the other side once I die. We spent some time talking about different things, politics, the social order. I know I'm strayed from such subject matter, but Titania presented interesting ideas. Whoever achieves such intelligence, though, <coughs> thought in an actual artificial being has my eternal respect. Peter. Yes. Do you mind if I ask you a strange question? Go right ahead. I don't mind. Interestingly, even though Vitaly jumps into her lap. <coughs> I'm so sorry, I don't know what's going on with my voice. 
He did not mind the doll, surprisingly, although the Dahlia was her, his favourite. He always enjoyed the attention he received from her. Peter, what do you think about cats? I beg your pardon. Natalia purred on her lap. I'm asking, what do you think about cats, you silly man? I like cats. Oh, so that... Oh, so that's how it is. Well then, I shall not disappoint. I like cats. I keep Natalia, don't I? She looked at me like I had grown two heads. Peter, that's not what I meant. Oh. What do you mean, then? I meant... What do you like about cats specifically? Their fur? Peter. You asked. I know it sounds mean of me, but it is fun. Tanya's reaction are amusing. Hmm. Alright, I'm sorry. Hmm. Hmm. What's it? Believe it or not, the singing doll is a fairly recent invention. A scientist by the name of Ludmil Dim Demetriev is created with her invent their invention. He is quite elusive nonetheless. No one knows where he lives or what he even looks like. I dare say he will grow down or go down in legend as a barely seen humanoid. Amusing other level and negligence. I don't know what's going on. Doesn't run his reputation into the ground first. What's with the sudden scowl? What's with the sun scowl? I need to read this properly. Oh, I am just thinking. I noticed Vitaly jumping off our lap and killing up at my feet. What about? Oh, well, science in general. Do tell. I don't quite understand her reaction at that moment. Science has helped us move beyond living in caves and hunting game. <coughs> she has her own opinions. I'll not bring it up. If she doesn't like it, well, I'd better not mention the singing dolls. One is technically speaking to me on, on her own accord. I best not burn the bridge. Science has helped us let's get longer. We've managed to bridge communication with other cultures and we've even learned how to use gunpowder. Didn't the Chinese invent that? Correct me if I'm wrong. I believe they did. I'll ask, I'll ask see if someone knows. All right. The tiniest curiosity is something of an anomaly. Anomaly. Artificial life isn't something that is known to show it, though we've seen some expectations. We had a discarded doll named Katrina. Some years back for showing too much of it. I wasn't around then, so I'd only know vague pieces of the story. One would think this would be printed in the newspaper, but alas, the story remains silent. Why have I no, why why I have no clue? Most likely to save face is more the reason. The public will never know. I've never understood the workings of a clock. What do you know of it? Oh, it's a time, yeah. I sure a smart watch I am working on repairing. Clocks are intricate things. They require skilled hands and delicate detail. I notice her eyes shine while she pays attention. If even one little cog is out of place, the entire device stops working. It's a lot like how I repair you, Agnes and Lucia. Really now? Oh yes. Whoever built your body knew what they were doing. I appreciate the compliment. I wasn't. Hmm? Never mind. I swear she didn't do that on purpose. This woman. Peter, you're scowling again. I am not. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I'm not. You are. All right, I am. What for? Let's just say it's something I don't like to talk about. I think about Katrina, how she reminded me so much of your, my niece same passion for song. It was almost with my niece born again in flesh. As close to flesh as painted porcelain can get. I didn't realise I had missed her this, this much until Titania brought it up. Peter. You know you can tell me anything. I'm not going to tell anyone. Promise? I promise. Alright. I tell her about what I was thinking. 
of my niece, Katrina, and the doll made in her likeness. I could have sworn I saw a surprise flash in her eyes, which could have been my imagination. Well, yeah, I see that. She isn't a real person by any stretch of the imagination, but it's nice to have someone to listen to. Who did this? Who did this? Hmm? Who did this to her? Titania. I, I apologize. I recognize the name somewhere. <coughs> Excuse me. Another round of applause for whoever created her personality. I don't think I've seen this sort of recognition in other dolls. Could you tell me something? Oh. oh. Could you tell me something now that I think of it? Yes. I see her steal herself before asking. Why I have no idea. Could you tell me who the inventor of the dolls is? What? The inventor. Who was he? Well... What do I do? Why do you ask? Why do you want to know the name? Hmm. A singing doll doesn't know the name of her own inventor? Something doesn't feel right. I'm simply... I'm simply curious is all. I don't entirely believe that. Fine. I may have a few choice words for my... the inventor. That's why I asked. Rather I'm quick to answer. Too quickly, I would say. I see Vitaly out of the corner of my eye, curling up at my, her feet, purring to, to his heart's content. It would have been adorable if it weren't for the sudden weight of this unexpected question. Hmm. Alright, I'll tell you. You will? Yes, though I will say, I find it odd that you don't know. Fair enough. And so I tell her the inventor's name. What possessed me to do so, I will never understand. I had always understood that singing dolls were a special case. But now, with what she said to me, I am starting to feel uneasy. As though I am speaking with not a machine, but another living soul. How is that possible? Men can achieve great things, but we are not gods. It is impossible to breathe life into metal. Titania. Yes? Would you like to hear a story? Her eyes didn't light up as the normal did which I found a bit odd. I think Vitaly I think Vitaly is hungry again. Blasted cat. That was my last piece of fish. Hmm? Here, I'll take care of it. Hmm? Like a man captivated stupid by a nymph, I see her take out a piece of dried fish from the storage. Smiling as though she were a child, I see her dangle the piece in front of Vitaly. Vitaly was all too eager to comply, pouring the air and jumping for his treat. It was a sight to behold a singing doll playing with an animal of her own will. It fascinated me, and yet it was disturbing. No other doll had shown such capacity for humanity. Sparks here and there, but nothing quite like this. I felt a cold dread creeping up my spine, like claws of ice digging into my skin. Something was not right. Something was terribly wrong. A doll isn't supposed to show this level of awareness. Do you wish to hear a story? I'm open to hearing one. Alright then. And so, while she was playing with my cat, I tell her the story of Maria Mare Maremba. <laughs> It, it was a favourite story of mine when I was a boy. I loved hearing the stories about the Caesars, the princess, the princes and the princesses. How the brave faced many dangers and came out unscathed. I don't know why I chose this particular story, other than it being a personal favourite. Even though I and my brothers and sisters thought Caesar Ivan stupid for releasing Koshke and the, death, the Deathless. And then again, such kindness could be taken advantage of. I looked up and saw Titania stroking Vitaly's back. Vitaly was not shying away from her. Not one bit. 
It was as if she was a real person, and not a working automation. Are you happy, Vitelli? Good kitten, nice kitten. A part of me wants to deny that this is happening. That she is nothing more than an automation built to imitate a human. Yet the other half of me is warning me that something is terribly wrong. Peter. Yes, Tanya. Where do you think my soul will go? Huh? I am sure she just asked me a question I was not prepared to answer. I can only stare stupidly at her as though she were a mere child. If she is no child, and she is no human, my man persists. <coughs> Excuse me. I am simply imagining this. But nonetheless, I have to answer. The human soul can go either heaven or hell. With you, I suppose it would go to heaven. Hmm. The tiny looks down at Vitaly's eyes dance cast. For a moment, I almost thought she was going to cry. If her mechanical body was capable of producing tears, I imagine she would have now. I hope I can go to heaven someday. You will. I'm quite certain of it. Mm. I do know what came over me then. Tanya was an automated <laughs> automation built to mimic human complexity. Or so I was told. But it's clear now, she is no ordinary machine. There is a soul there, just out of reach. All I have to do now is pull it forth and learn the truth. Titania? Yes, Peter. I see Vitaly on his back, pawing at her hand. Do you mind if I ask you, ask you something this time? No, I do not. All right then. Try as I might, I can't quite form the question I want to ask. It's obvious by now that she isn't an ordinary automation, much as I do don't wish to admit it. Thus, I have to word this question carefully. What are you exactly? Uh, what are you exactly? Where to go, dude? Her face goes into an eerie blank. No emotion shines through, even when Vitaly pulls her hand. I cannot tell what she is thinking. For some reason, this frightens me. If I tell you, how do I know you won't react terribly? Uh, I... That was a good question, I have to admit. Do I really want to know the truth? Am I even ready to learn it? Tanya noticed this, I'm certain. Would you... Would a test help? You feel better. I get the feeling the test would help more than me. Fair point. For a good while, neither of us spoke. There was a truth in front of me that I wasn't seeing or didn't want to see. Tanya's true identity, according to the public, was that of an advanced automation capable of making humanity. What I have witnessed tonight proves there is more that isn't being seen. That cold dread from be it before digs its I'll say that again. That cold dread from before digs its claws into my skin. I feel a nagging in my in the back of my head, warning me of something terrible. Besides Vitaly, Titania is my last true friend on this earth. But do I want to go to my grave hearing the truth bearing this truth? I may have something. Go on. She goes through the motions of taking a deep breath. How much of it is real, and how much of it intimidated? I will know shortly. Peter, why do you spend so much time caring for us? Why? Yes. She doesn't look me in the eyes while she asks. I notice there is some shame in the way she words it. I don't want to consider you <coughs> oh my god I don't want to consider you anything less than a friend so please answer honestly it was a good question why do I spend so much time caring for the dolls when I could be serving as a general in Caesar's army 
My old age doesn't allow me to do much, admittedly. I know how clocks work. I know I know how to repair dolls. Is it loneliness? But Tyler jumps into my lap while Tyler waits for my answer. Why do I care for them so much? You're my closest remaining family. It's my duty to say nothing. There is no answer I can give her other than the truth. And so I answer honestly. If I were to be truly honest with you, I would say this. I make sure to look her in the eyes. You, you and the other dolls are my last remaining family. All my relatives, my brothers, my sisters, my parents, they've left me behind and gone to heaven. So it's true. It's really true then. You never knew? It is fine. I never spoke of my family before. Now. It's still a sad situation. I've come to accept it. I've lived for a long time. No one can replace you. I hope you know that. I'm well aware. Is it why when I pass on I'm going to make sure whoever replaces me will care for you properly? The way you and the others should be treated. Thank you dearly. It has been my, a pleasure. I believe now it is time to tell me what's going on. Hmm. How is it you can mimic humanity so well? You have a mechanical body yet the mind of a human. How is that possible? She did not answer for a long time. I dare say she was choosing her words carefully. I know now she isn't an ordinary singing doll. What I can't understand is how. The only way to get the truth is to hear it from the horse's mouth. Very well, I will tell you. I am no ordinary machine. In fact, I am no... I'm not even completely mechanical. What? This is the truth that has been kept hidden from the world since our beginning. It can't be. But it is. We singing dolls are merely meshes of a machine and dead flesh, improved only as more we emerge. I was created from my own dead body, excavated from my own grave. My soul was disturbed from its rest. I am trapped in this abomination everyone calls an invention. Does that answer your question? I felt a wave of nausea cloud over me upon hearing that. These dolls, no, these women, were defiled so much after their deaths. But as the horror grows on me, I realize she said more were made. Does that... Who else had been defiled? Nearly every singing doll that has come into existence. I turn my head to look at Agnes and Ushia. Their eyes glow with fury and hatred of ghosts who had been disturbed from their rest. I thought of Katrina again, my beautiful little niece. Even Katrina? I'm afraid so. My horror was replaced with fury. At once, I punched the nearest wall I could, and I'm certain broke. I s I'm certain I broke my wrist. How dare they, those animals! How dare they do this to my little Katrina? How dare! Peter, stop! I nearly whirled around to hit her, as well. <laughs> had it not been for Fatale standing guard between myself and her. Yes. At once, I come to my senses. Horror once again filled my very core. To think that humanity and Ludmill could stoop as low as to defile the dead. It was completely wrong. Are you better? I will be. Good. There's something else, isn't there? I know you by now, to know that isn't the entire truth. What is it you are not telling me, Tanya? What? I am leading a revolution. What? A revolution to avenge all who have disturbed and torn apart. It's against my natural order to bring back the dead. I cannot argue against that logic, though. I must point out, 
Revolutions are rarely bloodless. I am afraid innocents will get hurt. She is smart enough to realize this, I hope. What about the innocents? Titania, as you said this, been kept from the public ever since she was uh, painted. What will happen to them? I do not know. I do not know, and I am past caring. All we want is to return to our rest. But surely you can figure out another solution. I have gone all over my options. This is the best way to achieve our goal. She's a stubborn woman, I will admit. She won't budge from her past until she achieves what she wants. She has shown as much as her on stage performances. Unless, what about this? Hmm? I could tell you when the next show will be. You can decide what to do by then. I'm listening. Good, she can be reasoned with. I hope this will go well. When is the next show, Peter? You've reached the end of the demo. Oh, okay. Well, that was uh, a lot different to what I thought it'd be. A lot, a lot different. That was uh, quite good. Oh, getting into story then. Uh, well, that has been Titania. <laughs> I have to say it right. There will, will be a download link in the description for you guys if you do want to uh, download it and give it a go for yourself. Um, if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, make sure you haven't already, press that big red subscribe button, make sure you hit that bell to notify whenever I upload a new video, I shall see you guys later. Bye guys. <laughs>